Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia Cars. I am at a rather special place here today. I'm here at Tucson Dynamic Winterland. It doesn't get any more winter than this. 2024 Tucson facelift model that's currently being displayed. We have the red one and also the matte graphite color. I will tell you about the precise name in the description below, so feel free to check it out. I actually do have a thorough review inside and outside of the car. This is once in a lifetime kind of an experience, don't you think? Checking out this brand new facelift car. If you're curious about the detailed review about the Tucson inside out, feel free to check out my previous video and without further ado let me just quickly give you a walk around of this place and what the Tucson is like inside out Hyundai actually has a lot of Tucson here up for the display so this is a Lotte mall and if you have been to Korea before you guys probably have been here before too this is like a indoor amusement park so you see, I actually did come prepared. GoPro with the shooting gear and I wanted to go inside, do a review with that Tucson over there. Well, it's the ice link, right? So it's the skate area. So you do have to put on the skate. I'm not the best skater in the world. So I might end up going to the hospital after today's shoot. So I just had to make a little bit of a compromise here. So check it out, just like that. What a fabulous job that Hyundai pulled off. I really love all these pop-up stores and the recent events that the Hyundai Motor Group is recently just doing and working on. After all, it is a family SUV. Tucson especially, definitely is for the family. So people coming out here, places like this, just checking out the car to themselves. As we can see, there are a lot of children, kids, I'm not trying to capture their moment of humiliation, but <laughs> you know, kids here, family members here, mom and dad and grandma, grandpas, they all get to come down here and just check the car out all together, comments and sharing their ideas and opinions about the Tucson all together. So look at this venue. Like I said, um, if you're curious about this place, do look up Lotte uh, World Amusement Park here in Korea. So that is actually the broad daylight coming through the roof the third story is actually a part of the amusement park the stamps so i'll be going around and fill it up the top prize here today is actually the airpods and i've been on a winning streak you know i got super lucky lately won a uh, n collaborated with a pelican case so that's it just like that so choose one from uh, out of all these i guess <laughs> Hyundai recently pulling off a lot of events like this, public area like this, checking it out on the mall. All right, so let's check out the Tucson N-Line real quick. This is the same with the basic model, but the distinctive difference when it comes to the front look of this car is this. N's been getting that, but this was more like an N-Line specific. We've been seeing that a lot on N-Line models. Uh, just to name a few, Sonata N-Line for sure. It definitely had that winglet design, although it was implemented on a regular model for Sonata, it's only the Tucson N-Line for this facelift model. This is all covered up. It's not cut open. There is no active air flap that will open and close accordingly to lower the coefficient of drag. The distinctively different is the front grille pattern. That is something that we haven't seen on a regular model. This is the Tucson only. There is the black flat bed implemented on Tucson facelift, all of them. It doesn't matter if you get the N-Line or regular, you get the flat black emblem of Hyundai. There you go, saying out loud that it's on N-Line. I also missed it. It's actually embedded right over here, the N-Line. I like that a lot. It actually has the body color matched cladding and that is N-Line only. So it is a square setup all around for the wheels, meaning it's got the same wheels and tire sizes, all four of them, which 235, 55, 19. Wow, I never thought the day would come. That would make me think that the 19s are not all that big enough for a mid-size SUV like Tucson. Nice rear reflection view right there. And we can see that that is definitely the N-Line diffuser. It looks much more aggressive on this red color because the N-Line that I have met back in Hyundai Motor Studios hall had the matte graphite color. Again, I will be including the precise name on the card above right now, but it's very distinctive with the different colors all throughout the diffuser right here and piano black. Ultimate red metallic, I'm pretty sure this color would be, right? 
so it has been applied on the Tucson N line. The diffuser looks really aggressive. Single exhaust tip, it has the dual tips on one side, so it is not dual exhaust tip left and right. Now that kind of has been the end line thing. Maybe not so much with the cars that are performance driven and I'm referring to Sonata end line right here because Sonata end line also does have the dual exhaust tip. That is just pretty much it on the outside when it comes to the Tucson end line versus a regular. Let me show you what's different inside. That's where a lot of differences are actually made and found. And as for the rear emblem, it is the same thing. It's actually underneath the glass so so you don't feel anything. Probably there was a bit of a difficulty Hyundai putting that as a matte black. Otherwise, you are not gonna see anything right here, right? <laughs> Flat design emblem is also applied on the rear as well. And where's the rear wiper? Of course, there is the hidden type rear wiper right there and long third brake light that actually stretches out from all the way to here to here. So there are two cameras. So one is for the built-in cam 2.0 and one is for the reverse cam. There should be the trunk button right over here. Yep. This is the facelift. So it didn't change all that much when it comes to the trunk volume size. The interior remains essentially quite similar in terms of the space and all. And um, I'm pretty sure you know all this if you are the owner of the car already. Do check and see if your car also comes with dive trunk lid as well. So that's only a few centimeters, right? I'm, I'm thinking maybe two inches at most, but this dive trunk actually does make a lot of difference, especially on a mid-size or small size SUV. My daily driver is a Kia Seltos. Having the trunk dived like this versus not does make a lot of difference when you are just constantly loading and unloading stuff out of your trunk i'm including this right now because i did not know about that i didn't i didn't know Celtos came with it but then i recently found out it makes a huge difference check and see if your car comes with this if you have kona kona also has a, a slot where you can actually store your luggage screen. When you actually take the top lid off, you can actually store it right against the second row seat, which also is a very smart way and brilliant job that Hyundai has done. And Hyundai does a lot of this recently on their cars. So make sure to check it out. You can fold your second row seat by yanking this just like so, the second row seats folded just like that. I'm curious if I can actually fold the second row seat completely flat. It's um, it's slanted a little bit, but another brilliant job that Tucson did is that when you fold it down, the seat gets locked as you can see. So it's gonna remain there sturdy and firm. So not so super straight, a little bit angled towards the uphill that way, but nothing that's gonna bother you all that much. And you can definitely do sleep inside this vehicle. That is called chabak here in Korea. It's really a big thing and uh, it's not gonna be a problem for you at all. Put this guy back up just like this. Let me also get inside the second row seat as well, just like that. Okay, wow. So you see the level of inclination you can get even on the second row seat. So it's not just the back support that would tilt back and forth, but actually I do feel the lower seat, it is kind of a moving at an angle. So it's not completely that sinking type seat. However, it certainly is somewhat ergonomic so that it kind of moves together with the back support, giving you the better sitting position even for the second row seat. Don't get me started with the headroom right here. You get a lot of headroom with the Tucson, given the class of this Tucson being. So this is not the largest family SUV you can get from Hyundai Motor Group, no. It's only a mid-size SUV, however, it gets the job done. Piano Black's used with the heated seats, three level. The AC vents for the second row seat comes in like this. I'm sorry, pardon me. I didn't really come with the intention of going all out with my review here, but I just couldn't help myself. Hyundai has done a beautiful job setting this place up, so I had to. That's the reason why I don't really have 
much lighting. I don't have the best gear to show you these things yet. That is the most erect sitting position and that is the most lean back sitting position. You can guess how much of clicks, level of adjustment you can get even on the second row seat. N line stitch, this is uniquely N. This is the identity that is carried over to all of the N line models. Black on red, black interior with the red accents only. And that has been the penetrating N line model theme all throughout and we can all see that on this tucson facelift as well says tucson right here last but not least let's get inside the tucson the driver's seat this is where all of the upgrades has been made when it comes to the facelift starting with maybe sonata the facelift wasn't necessarily the facelift that we used to know of although it's called facelift it was almost like an all-new model especially with the last facelift sonata you know what i mean especially the exterior i mean there just was no connection whatsoever with the dna they gave us almost a brand new car when it came to the facelift but that's not really the case with this tucson if you take a look at it at a glance you might be thinking what is so different about this car because you might be thinking that nothing much has been changed this is kind of a facelift that we are you know used to seeing this definitely belongs to the category of uh, being a facelift to my eyes although it may seem subtle there is distinctive difference and change in terms of the looks when you do look at this drl in person trust me it does look different just like all of the facelift and all new models do this car also does make pre-facelift model quite outdated piano black interior is used so nothing much has changed on that portion you know a little bit of a fabric is and also that end line stitch that i told you about comes with the two memory seats one distinctive difference you can see immediately when you let yourself inside this tucson facelift of course this 12.3 inch dual monitors right and left so on a pre-facelift model it was just a 10.25 inch monitors with a huge center display console in the middle that ate up a lot of space right let me know in the comment below if you actually did like that giant center console with a 100 percent touch sensitive buttons except for the hazard light in the middle let me know if you are one of them i mean i don't blame you but i just really want to know show of hands how many of you guys did actually do like that because i completely understand and get the reason behind uh, manufacturers and hyundai going full digital when it comes to the interior well first of all that mostly has to do with the ota over the air updates and services just getting keeping your software fresh 24 7 up to date without having you to pay a visit to your local dealerships it gets all wirelessly done just like it does on a smartphone and in order for that to happen things have to be completely digital right that that way you know softwares can have different buttons once that button is there you know it's gonna be a home button forever it's gonna be a map button forever that is the reason why companies are going kind of a quite digital here and there but there are pros and cons being said I really do like this good mix of a physical button frequently used buttons are turned physical and the rest right here all integrated with the AC systems and all the test driver right here is completely shut off so I will be including the early footage you can check it all out right there latest interior design theme that we have seen here and there on all of the latest Hyundai cars four dots which stands for letter H in Morse code of course H for Hyundai blacked out flat emblem to go along with the end line the red stitch that I've been telling you about including the ambient light that runs all throughout do not forget about the extra storage space right here that Hyundai gave us thumbs up a good drop down glove box also slide your passenger seat using these buttons the driver's seat does get ergo motion seats that massage which Hyundai doesn't use the word massage but ergo motion seat makes a huge difference so make sure to include that if you're thinking about it fingerprint recognition system giant giant wide panoramic sunroof which looks like this from the outside when it's tilted up the n-line tucson and that is also a n-line batch right there the wheel cap and line specific wheels however unlike the previous n-line models there was a bit of a performance upgrade in terms of the suspension the wheels the performance used to have a different engine however that is not the case with the latest end lines anymore well with an exception of end lines that are performance oriented i.e. Hyundai Sonata end line 
So, yep, the interior just essentially looks quite the same right here. No big difference. It's the same power terrain that's been used with a skewer type bonnet lifter right there. A bit of a sound absorbance found here and there, and that is just pretty much it. I spent a lot of time at my first spot getting that stamp. Gotta fill these up. Yeah, and just look at that. Abyss Black Pearl or Phantom Black. I will double check the name. And this is the regular Tucson. So immediately you can see the different grill patterns, but it still has that flat blacked out emblem. So the grills are different. The DRL is the same. The rear diffuser actually, it looks different. It's not aggressive as the one we saw on the end line. Just a good old diffuser type. It's got the two tone finish. And also, wow, one in the middle, you see that it's not piano black, it's not high gloss, but rather it's just the plastic cladding on the profile and the sides as well. So it's only the end line that you choose and get the body color matched cladding including the piano black in between the body panel and the diffuser going with the third raffle so just digging through so this I think I've seen it with the end beach before it kind of tells you you know what the feature is last but not least this is the Tucson hybrid probably the car that most of you guys are interested in and so am I I really love the hybrid cars that Hyundai Motor Group is just recently pumping out you see it's got a regular grills up on the front Hyundai actually is really making a strong statement about the end line you see so even with the hybrid although this car is one of the most expensive cars from Tucson it does not get the body color cladding so it is the only the N line. That is another different stance that Hyundai is now taking. That is, N line is not just only for the performance, but if you want to modify or I should say customize your car that make it stand out from the general public. Hyundai is kind of a telling you go with the N line, customize your car from that point. So this is the cladding that I've been telling you about. It's got the plastic cladding on the profile, which is also the same case for the side skirts, including the rear diffuser. It's not all that aggressive compared to the end line. Essentially, the exterior is identical to regular hybrid. Oh, and uh, there's not even a hybrid embed or plaque on the rear side, kind of uh, telling you that it is a hybrid. There is none of that. So they are cleaning up the legs. Look at that. This is one heck of an experience. An experience that you've never ever gotten before. I have a car right behind me and I am reviewing a car. Really wish I was a good skater. You know, I that's what I actually had in mind when I was heading out tonight. I wanted to be on a skate and kind of do the review, one and only review ever. There's no way I'm skating today, so yeah. It's the same thing, you get the dive down seat like this, it's the same thing here and there. So, oh wow. And there are people upstairs too checking it out. Christmas seasons. I really love the white interior, bright interior that Hyundai is recently pumping out. DRL turned on with the Tucson Hybrid and this is the wheels for the hybrid model. So you can see it has different wheel designs and patterns and slapped around in 235, 55, 19. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised that Tucson actually slapped 19s on and still managed to pull out this hybrid model because here in Korea, there is a must met MPG in order to get the title hybrid. I will include the numbers right now. 19 inch wheels, not good for your MPG. Smaller the wheels, thicker the meatier the tire is on the profile, better the car will do with the MPG and the drive, the ride quality and all. However, Tucson still has that 19 inch wheels on. Bigger wheels, it looks cool, it looks better, and that is what they have done right here. So I'm gonna do the next one. With the first version, you actually had to bring the uh, smartphone over in order to unlock your car. Now this, you can unlock your car look at that with your smartphone and it's also on iphone 2. all right so that makes it four let's go for the raffle 
the top prize once again airpod so you see there's another tucson it's a regular one with the drls lit they got tucson everywhere it's surrounded by tucson no idea what this uh, fancy shoes and the laptop backpack is supposed to mean beautiful tail light this has been one of my personal favorite design from hyundai thus far you know it's uniquely tucson only and that was more evident on the front with the preface lift model it, although it's a two-tone it really looks like that it's body color matched so if you're not choosing an end line but you just hate that two-toned plastic cladding color maybe this is the color for you you can get really creative with the spaces right here put your book maybe you can even squeeze in your laptop mini ones just like this you fit your tablet right over here no problem so the more there is with the storage when it comes to cars it's always the better that light we saw on the tip of the tail light is actually the reminiscent portrays the DRL of a Tucson, which was a little more prevalent on a preface lift model. I really think they have outdone it. Looks really beautiful. All right, so let's go check out the last one of the day and also claim my prize. Fingers crossed. I know I can do it. Let's go. Rub it. See if I win anything. Nope. No luck. No luck with that. It's number one AirPod Pro. Let's go for it. Not sure if I can hit it. Let's go. Woo. So much for the AirPod. Uh, I was almost there, huh? The AirPod right there. Okay. <laughs>